Hello everybody! So today we're going to be doing a programming video, a programming project. It's going to be Python based, all right? So let's start first by typing out, actually I'll go ahead and give the prompt and then we will start typing out the description and uh, just gradually work through. It's going to be a very linear process. So what is the prompt? The prompt is to uh, be able to take a weight from a user, so a user inputted weight, either kilograms or pounds, will give them the uh, the ability to choose, and then we print the corresponding number of elephants and mice that it takes to uh, meet that weight. Okay, so the uh, the weights that we're going to be using are the weight of an African bull um, or a bull. African bush elephant, which is roughly 4,050 uh, 4, uh, kilograms, which is the average value between the lower bound and the upper bound of that weight range. And then we'll be using the weight of a common house mouse, house mouse, uh, mus musculus at 42 grams. So we're going to be starting with grams and then we can just use the conversion factor to convert um, pounds into kilograms. Okay, make sure my volume is not too high. There we go, okay. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's get to it. We start first with our um, header, okay? And so for that, let's see here, do we have any files? We don't, so let's go ahead and use Vim and we're gonna create uh, this file. So we're going to call it um, mice and or mice elephant uh, mice elephants dot pi. That's a good name right there. All right. So we start first with our header, which is three three um, uh, double quotation marks and then our the title or the file name so we'll file name uh, mice oh all right not in insert mode oh uh, terminal bell is on I hope that's not coming through for you guys make sure that that is off believe it is advanced audio settings let's make sure that those are all muted so they don't camera on under off okay i think you're only getting you should only be getting the microphone so cameras off good good all right so let's get back to it so file name is mice elephants.py. What's the description? And I'm sure I'm going to make some spelling errors in here. Just let me know in the comments. I'll be much obliged. So the description here is, uh, let's see, it's prompts the user for the choice between pounds and kilograms. Ah, kilograms. And what's the next thing? So it uh, let see the user is asked if they will be entering pounds or kilograms. The user is then asked to enter a weight in numerals. So this is not going to be a string value. This is only going to be able to work with numbers. Okay, so it prompts the user for the choice between pounds and kilograms, um, and then prompts the user for a weight in a uh, numerical weight. What's the next one? The number is the, so the weight is then printed in 
the elephant and mouse. Weights that add up to the total weight. And then what numbers are we going to be using here? The weights used are going to be elephant. And we'll just go ahead and do it in all caps because this is going to be a constant. So elephant is equal is equal to uh, the value of four thousand fifty and we're going to go ahead and multiply this times one thousand okay then we, and this corresponds, so this one is for, what's the uh, elephant? And we'll use the Latin, which is going to be Luxodonta Africana. Luxodonta Africana. That is the African bush elephant. And the weight is the average, so weight ah, of an average bull of an average bull. Okay. And the reason why we're going to be doing times 1000 is uh, to put it in grams, so Weights will be in grams, okay? And then the mouse is going to be the mus musculus, which is the common uh, house mouse. I love that, house mouse. So, mus musculus, mus musculus. Okay, and the weight of a common mouse is roughly 42 grams. Okay, so you can see here already that 42, we're going to be working in grams, so um, the elephant's weight is actually going to be 405,000, uh, yeah, 405,000 grams. Okay, what else do we need? Um, we've got the weights of the two animals, and then we need our conversion factor. conversion factor of pounds to kilograms, and that is, I'm just going to go ahead and co copy and paste that value, and that's point, that is point four five uh, four five three five nine two three seven so that would be the e, roughly the equivalent um, kilogram uh, uh, value um, that corresponds to a pound okay and I think that's it for my editors okay uh, we still need to have the author which is me so author. Nathan, come on now, Tonning, and what else? The date, which is today's date. So date, February 25th, 2023. And uh, let's see the license. This is not always necessary, but I'll go ahead and include it here license and it is going to be a cc creative commons by so attribution by as you'll see on all the videos that i've created up to this point they all have cc by okay 
All right, so license CC by Nathan Tawning. And let's see, what else do we need? Oh, of course, so, so since we're on YouTube, we need to have our like, share and subscribe. Okay, not subscribe, subscribe. Okay. And now, let's see here, what else do I need? Am I in the wrong? Undo, undo. All right, so that's all of the header that we need. And now, what else? We need to go ahead and in, uh, get our global constants, okay? So those are going to be outside the function call, and they are going to be elephant. elephant and elephant is going to be equal to which value was that okay, i can't scroll up huh uh, where was that elephant right here so visual word word uh yank and then go down and put good and then mouse so elephant is going to be 4,050 times 1,000, and then we're going to need mouse. So mouse is equal to 42. And then we need our conversion. So that's conversion of, uh, what was that? Uh, pounds to, we'll just do LB to KG. And those should all be caps because this is going to be a constant LB to KG. All right. And that value, go ahead and scroll up in the document. There we go. You can just yank the entire line and put. Oh, there we go. So there's our conversion factor elephant, mouse, and conversion factor. All right. So now let's go ahead and create main. So we have def main okay and we'll just make a stub for right now because we now need to have our if statement at the bottom if just to prevent this from running if it were introduced as a script it's just good practice to get into if name is equal to main then we run main all right so now let's go ahead and see if this runs properly all right so what do we need uh we'll just do let's see we have we written the file we have and we now can run an external command so we'll do python 3 and the name is mice we can do auto completion tab completion indentation let's see it expected an indented block after function definition on line 38 okay so it probably just needs a stub here just a print statement will do Our previous run and that worked shell returned one yep so we've got that uh, that blank line that means that we had a successful run all right so now we can actually start implementing the project and the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get some welcome information so let's go ahead and print that so hello yeah, we're very friendly around here. So hello, and we're going to do something a little bit fun, and that is these emojis. So much fun. Hello. It's like the computer face, right? All right. Um... What about the rest of this? So let's see here. This 
program, I'm going to go ahead and grab a portion of the file and just copy and paste it here. Because there's really nothing of value in this particular section of code. This program accepts a weight or mass and prints the corresponding number of elephant and mouse weights that are contained in the given value. Okay, it's just a little bit smaller. Is that still good size for you guys? Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and run the code. Let's see here. This program accepts, hello, this program accepts a weight or mass and prints the corresponding number of ma elephant and mouse weights that are contained in the given value. Very good. So what's our next portion of text here? This is going to be interesting because we're going to be working with formatted strings here. Okay, or F strings as they're sometimes called as well. So we need our print statement. And what is it? For the record... And just do a couple spaces over. For, for the record, one elephant weighs, come on, weighs, and then we can use our curly braces here, and the constant is elephant. Come on, there we go. Elephant. Did I spell that correctly? Ah. Elephant. Um, and we'll go ahead and show this as our kilogram weight. So we're going to take that value and divide it by 1000 to get it back from grams to kilograms. So we closed our curly braces and now go ahead and close out our string. And that's our first statement right there. And then our second statement is going to be another F string. So print F and then one mouse weighs One mouse weighs, and for this we use a curly brace, and we take our mouse value, and we're going to show this as a variation of kilogram. So mouse divided by 1,000, which is going to give us our kilogram value. Okay. And then kg, or kilograms. Close out that curly brace, and then we have another print statement. Print F, which means that one elephant weighs as much as approximately, there's a word for you, approxa, am I spelling that right? Approximately, A-P-P-R-O-X-I-M-A-T-E-L-Y, approximately, let me know if I spelled that correctly approximately and weighs as much as approximately uh, in the same format string we'll do the same we'll do elephant elephant integer division Okay, so this is going to be straight or strict integer division. It's not going to print a float value. Elephant, mouse, 
elephant integer division mouse mice okay that should be enough that will allow us to take a look at our print statement to make sure that everything is printing correctly it does not like undetermined unterminated string literal detected at line 45 so that means that we have oh that was must have been an extra space there we go that should that should do it still does not like it where's the other one line 47 hmm. i did not press enter i don't think That is interesting. There we go. This program accepts a weight or mass and prints the corresponding number of elephants and mouse weights that are contained in the given value. For the record, one elephant weighs 4,050 kilograms. One mouse weighs 0.042 kilograms, which means that one elephant weighs as much as approximately 96,420 mice. Huh. All right. Yeah, let's see here. It weighs as much. I don't like in that text. You know, while we're, since we're working at this at this value and prints. Print. So up here, let's go ahead and close this off. It just does not like that, does it? And prints the corresponding There we go, and then I should be able to just get rid of that. We go. Corresponding number of elephant and mouse weights. And we'll do it at the left. There we go. Wonder why that pulls over. It's interesting. Print. that are contained in the given value. For the record, one elephant weighs, and then that particular value. One mouse weighs that particular value, which means that one elephant weighs as much as approximately that value. So as much as let's go ahead and end that there and create another print statement print and another f string there we go. all right so let's see what that looks like as it is displayed and then i'm going to have to turn off that terminal bell that is very distracting uh oh interesting Somehow my, I'm in full screen now. We need to create, we need to create a list called choices, okay? And for that, use square brackets. And this is gonna be a list of strings. So our first value is actually gonna be the pound sign, just in case someone wanted to use that LB for pound, uh, KG, KG for kilogram, and finally just K for kilogram as well. Okay, so there's our choices, and then we'll have a value that will be user defined, and we'll just make that a blank string for right now. Then we have another value, and this is going to be the weight. 
weight, and we're going to go ahead and set that as a float 0, 0.0. And while choice, this is going to be a loop here, while choice is not equal to Q, then we're going to print the following statement. And that is, uh, we use tab for this, the tab character forward slash T and say unit of choice. And then we give these options. So pound, what else? Uh, pound or LB or pound and kg or kilogram. I must have my word count set at a very low level. So let's, while we're here, let's set, is it word wrap or is it text width? I think it's text width, right? Set text. I don't do it enough to have it memorized, but I think it's 80. I uh, have set text width to 80. Let's see if that does it. And then we need to go to the top of our document, gene, visual, go all the way to the bottom, and then type the command GC. And now it should be set to 80 characters, I believe. Yes. Okay. No. Okay, so that's our first value, and we need to finish out that print statement. There we go. And then we print our quit condition, which is our Q is Q for quit. There we go. And now what? So we need our choice. So we take our variable choice and we set whatever the user is going to input. We turn it into a string. Input validation. Or it's not really true input validation, but it's forcing the input to be what we want it to be, which is a string. So choice, string, input, and then we give a little prompt. Okay, so let's go ahead and Go ahead, uh, let's test up to this point and make sure we don't have any bugs. Well, one more, there we go. Unit of choice, good. So I'm gonna just type anything and good. If I type Q, it closes. So good, that loop is working for us. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more just an empty print statement here at the ends that will help to differentiate between the two. All right, so we now have our loop and we and the next thing to do is to determine if the user is entering uh, pounds or kilograms. And for that, we're gonna have an if statement and we're going to search our list choices for a slice, okay? So if choice in and then here's our slice our list slice in choices we start at zero and we want to look at the first we want to look at the first two elements so we that means that we do zero colon two another way to think of this is that we are going, we are stopping at the second or at index two. I believe that's another way to think of it. All right. If choices in, oh, don't need an extra S. I think that's good. Okay. Then right now we're just going to say you have chosen pounds 
you have chosen pounds. Okay, and then what's our LF? LF choice in choices. And for this, we check uh, choices two to the end. So we're starting at index two, right? Because lists start at index zero, one, two, all the way to the length or the size of the list minus one. So choice in choices, we can do two colon and it will automatically go to the end of the list for us. We don't have to know what the end is. And of course we need to finish off with a colon. And for right now, we're just going to print you have chosen kilograms. There we go. Okay, and let's check. See here. So let me do well first to make a mistake where Okay, that's not working. That's excellent. So now I choose my pound sign and it says you have chosen pounds. So that means the if statement's working properly. And then if I do kg, I've gotten kilograms. If I just do k, then I'm in kilograms and q to quit. Excellent. So that means our if statement is working properly. Now we need to get that value. And so for that, we're going to be using our variable value. Okay. value is equal and we're going to uh, turn this into a float right away so float of input and we can put the prompt in the input arguments list enter the weight in pounds Enter the weight in pounds. Is that correct? I believe so. Yes. Okay. And then close out all of the appropriate strings. And the only difference here is that we are going to convert. We are going to, since this is uh, pounds. We want to convert to kilograms. So we're going to multiply right off the bat. We're going to multiply by our conversion factor. And so what line is that set? Probably 14? No, a little bit lower down. So it's conv and copy word. Oh, undo. Oh, visual. Yeah. Visual word word uh is it e no it's b for back isn't it yep eh, we'll just do it the that way lovely okay yank so now we have the proper name and here at the end we'll put it And then we go ahead and multiply this by 1,000 as well to convert it to grams. Okay, because our mouse weights in grams, and this this method that we uh, uh, that I'm going to show you requires the use of integers. Okay, so we have to make sure that all of our values are in the form of integers. And what else do we need? Da da da. da. Hmm. I'm going to set my set text width equal to 100, not 80. So there's that. Let me go GG. Visual all the way down and GC. I don't think that worked. What? Well, it's working now. So. I thought, oh, it's GQ, that's right, not GC. So visual all the way to undo. So for this, we need to go visual GG. No, GG, visual, shift G, and then GQ. There we go. 
But that's too big, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Set word wrap. Is that it? Set word wrap. No, that's on, isn't it? It's, um... Let's just set word wrap at 80. Unknown operation. I might have to look that up. Let me... Let's take a look at uh, my vim, my uh, .vimrc file. So while we're in here, let's vim tilde .vimrc. And down here at the bottom, if I remember, set text width. Set text width 64. So we need to set text width at 80. Pretty sure I did that already, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so set text width. Let's set it to 80. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, now we go to the top of the file. GG. Visual. Undo. Um, what do I need? I need to go GG. Visual G all the way to the bottom and then GQ. There we go. Hey, I think we can probably... I hope I didn't just lose all my stuff, did I? Oh, that's funny. Guess who's going to be uh, fixing all this? All right, so that was a bit of a hassle getting all that set set up again, but here we go. Let's let's get let's get back to it. So let's see. Let's first run the code. Oh, right. So let's go ahead. Mice and elephants. Mice elephants dot pi. And did I give it that name? Mice elephants dot pi. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and run the program set word wrap at 80 oh okay that was uh set text width uh, we need to run the program so if we just use our up arrows and now we're here uh where is the indentation error on line 56 okay so where is that line 56 ah there it is on choice there we go all right, so now run the code again, and it worked. Hello, this program accepts a weight or mass and prints the corresponding number of elephant and mouse weights that are contained in the given value, and then the records, and then let's go ahead and enter input. You have chosen pounds. Uh, enter the weight in pounds, 234, and it just goes back to our uh, section, so kilograms yes and q for quit so it's not doing anything with the value for kilograms yet so what we need to do is let's first so we know that it is let's make sure that it's entering the value uh that the uh it's it's populating the variable value properly so let's use a print let's print value let's see what we're getting And for this, we will need, so we'll do LB, LB, and let's do 34,000 pounds. And they're saying that that is, oh, that's not quite right, is it? That's, if that's pounds, that is a huge number for, oh, that's grams, isn't it? So the direct equivalent, that would be in grams. Okay, so we'll go with that. Uh, one way we can test is I'm going to uh, go over to Google and pull up uh, pounds to grams. And using Google's very nice feature, we have 34,000. And they're saying that 34,000 pounds is... Um, trying to keep track 15 million four hundred twenty two thousand one hundred forty one grams 15 million four hundred twenty two thousand one hundred forty 
0.58000002. So yeah, that's that's within the ballpark, isn't it? All right, so I'll accept that. That is doing the conversion properly from pounds to grams. All right, so now with that in mind, let's go ahead and work on our kilogram portion. Okay, so for this, all we need to do is we are going to copy value, yank, put, And what do we need to do? Just need to enter the weight. You can... Oh, come on now. Get my fingers lined up in the wrong place. Enter, oh, enter the weight. We'll do mass, right? Because a kilogram is actually a measurement of mass, not weight. Pounds is a measurement of, uh, ma uh, is a measurement of weight enter the mass in kilograms. So the only difference here is instead of the conversion factor, all we need is to multiply by 1000 to turn it into grams. All right. So let's test that out. See if we've got it. So we need K for kilograms. And let's do, we know that this value, it's going to be 305 What is that? Enter the mass in kilograms. That's actually 3,050,000, isn't it? That's, that doesn't seem quite right. There must be an error because if I, am I multiplying by a million on accident? Multiplied by 1,000. No, that's right, isn't it? Oh, then my elephant weight. No, the elephant weight should be fine, right? Multiply by a thousand in order to turn grams into... Yep, to turn grams into... Uh, no, kilograms, actually. Kilograms into grams. Okay, so we've got... That much of our program completed. Now what do we need to do? Now the next thing, the next step, if you will, is to, we've got our value. Now we just need to perform the calculation. And for that, we're going to use modulo division, a combination of modulo division and uh, integer division. So we'll put a space at the end and another statement. Just something cute. Putting mice and elephants on the scale. There we go. Uh, what else? Da -da -da -bum. And then we need to print results. The weight the weight in equivalent elephants and mice is must be t hitting the enter bar every single time. Interesting. That is incorrect. Incorrect. No, it's doing that. 
is, and then we're simply going to print because we don't need to maintain these values. So we're first going to convert it to an integer. And we take value, whatever value is, and we perform integer division using elephant, using our constant elephant, as opposed to the actual number itself. So integer elephant and comma elephants. I could even, if I wanted to, I could make this an F string. And all of that format, all of that would be happening inside the string, followed by the word elephants. Okay. And now we need mice. Elephant. It could be elephant or elephants, right? So let's go ahead and do a slash s at the end. And then we do the same for our mice. So we'll do an f string and int curly brace. No, oh, ah, just a regular parenthesis. Int and we do our, we first find the value mod, mod elephants, which means we're now only dealing with the remainder of when, once you have performed integer division on value uh, with the constant elephants. So we take that remainder and then we perform integer division using mice because we still only want to deal with whole integer values. We don't want half mice. That's gross. Mice are bad enough as is. You don't want to have them in half. All right, so we've got mouse, our constant mouse. And what else do we need? We then need to close the, curl, the uh, parenthesis for the integer casting. And we do mouse slash mice or mouses. All right. And that is, that's it. So let's go ahead and run. Oh, it's got a problem here. There, oh, there is a missing curly brace right here. There we go. That should do it. All right, so let's go ahead and check with uh, kilograms, right? So kilograms, and we know, it, we said that the weight uh, or the mass of an elephant is 5,040, right? F uh, or is it 4,050? Yeah, have I got it backwards? I think I've got it backwards, don't I? Or, yeah, 4,050. So if I enter that value, and what is the problem? Oh, elephant, not elephants. And our constant on line 69. Good. And let's go ahead and run it again. So we need kilogram, 4,050. And that is one elephant and zero mice, which is what you'd expect, okay? Um, let's do some other... How do we test to make sure this is working properly? We know that the one elephant weighs as much as approximately 96,428 mice, which means if we do a value that is just under 4,050, then we should get somewhere, we should get a value for mice that is roughly 96,420 something. So let's go ahead and check that again. So kilograms. And enter the mass in kilograms. We'll do 4,000. Um, 49.0. Actually, we'll get close. We'll do 7. Okay? So that should be pretty close to the value 96,428. 96,421. So you see that we know that that value is just under the average weight for an elephant, so therefore it automatically reverts to the closest value it can using mice. 96,421 mice. Man, that's a lot of mice. That'd make a lot of happy snakes, wouldn't it? All right, so now we check for pounds. So 
uh, let's do a an equivalency of pounds to of pounds to uh, uh, kilograms. We said that thirty four thousand pounds is roughly the same as fifteen thousand four hundred twenty one point one four one kilograms. So if I enter a poundage of thirty four thousand in my input bar 34,000 then it says that is equivalent to three elephants and 77,908 mice mices <laughs> that's a that's a funny error all right so let's go ahead and fix the mices this is a computer programming uh, course not an english course but we should still at least obey the most basic English laws. All right, so going back to it, let's go ahead and type in LB, and we do 34,000 in weight. That's three elephants and 77,908 mice. Okay, so now let's go ahead and check kilograms with roughly the same value. So I'm copying the kilogram value and pasting it in. Three, three elephants, seven, 77,908 mice. That means that our conversion of pounds to kilograms is correct because we can enter both values, whether it's uh, pounds or kilograms. And if they're equivalent, then we get the same number of elephants and mice. So what happens, let's just do pounds. And here's an error, for instance. What if I entered a negative value? So negative. Well, uh, if I enter a negative poundage, I get negative elephants, and I, oh, I get positive mice, though. That's interesting. So that's that's an error, so you definitely want to check and uh, confirm that you are, um, what's it called? Um, uh, not content checking, but something like that, where, uh, um, oh, input, input validation is the correct word for it. All right, so let's go ahead and quit this. And there's one final portion that we need to put in here, and that is just a little prompt to see uh, to to ask the user if they would like to enter another value. One way when you're doing something that requires user input is try and maintain uh, uh, communication, not not too much, but definitely maintain communication with the user. So they're so they are not left guessing. That's a, that'd be a bad place. So print. Uh, want to play again? There we go. And we'll just we'll do another emo emoji face. Okay. It was funny for the longest time. I didn't know exactly what some of those things, what some of those emojis went, meant. For instance, this this value, which everyone knows, right? It's a heart. Um, I didn't know exactly what that was. And so when I'd see people put, uh, pasting it, I would look at it and think, what is that thing? And then finally I realized, oh, it's a heart. So I love you too. All right. Want to play again is the question. And so that will automatically show up when the user is ready to enter a new value. And then we uh, we have an if statement, right? We have if the user oh, oh I must have caps lock on undo. There we go. You probably saw that caps lock was set, and when that happens, then it does a super. Um, value on all of the keys and they start acting in pretty weird ways. It's not fun. Uh, what did I do here? So I believe that's all good. So you see if I have while choice is not equal to Q, then we have this ability if the choice in in choices, if choice is in choices there in the list, and we'll have another statement here that says elif And all of those values 
if choice in choices, then it performs that. Oh, that's one thing that I forgot, didn't I? So I have it checking my substring, but I need to have one more if statement here. It's still inside the while, still inside the while loop, but it's a check to make sure that the value is even in choices. So if choice in the list choices, then all of these, all of this content here, which I will highlight and move in, that goes in there. So that's our nested if statements, right? We have an if statement here, and then it checks for the slices uh, of the choices list. But we'll have another, we'll have another if statement here, elif, choice is equal to q then we will wish our player a pleasant farewell print goodbye and then of course we'd be remiss if we didn't have our our face so there we go Right? Oh, it's a, it's an open mouth. There we go. There we go. It's a very vocal little character. There we are. All right. And that is the final portion of this assignment. So let's run through the program one more time just to confirm that it is operational. Run the code. All right, so it prints the prompt for us, which is what we want. And let's try that value again of 34,000. So let's do the pound symbol and 34,000. And that gives us the, uh, w the weight in pounds in equivalent elephants and mice is three elephants and 77,908 mice. Then it asks us, do you want to play again? And then it gives us the prompt units of choice. We get those four choices and then Q for quit. So let's try the kilogram version. And what was that in pounds? It was 15,421.141, but I'm lazy. So I'm just going to copy and paste and enter the value. Three elephants, 77,908 mice. Want to play again? No. So I hit Q. Goodbye and the program is complete so the only thing that's missing here is some some commentary so uh let's see we could put a comment here that says um constants used in in uh computations and sometimes it's not necessary to uh, to give um, comments, let's see here. We're, uh, a a good place to put a comment would be right here. For instance, this this list we uh, since we're working with sub lists or slices, it's necessary that these values not be changed in any or their uh, sequence not be changed in any way. So uh, it would be good to put a comment here that says, "Do not." change the order of or the sequence do not change the sequence of values position matters and hmm, i need to set the text uh, wrap a little bit better um is there anything else that would need to be commented? It would it would really depend on what someone was asking. If they needed comments, then you would give it. Um, but this is pretty uh, pretty explanatory. Notice that all of my all of my uh, um, variables have pretty good names. You know what is being asked. Uh, value might be changed if need be to confirm that that is good enough. But this, this is acceptable. So this has been 
um, this uh, project fulfills the prompt or the uh, project description, which is prompting the user for the choice between pounds and kilograms, and then prompting for a numerical uh, weight or mass, then that mass being converted into the corresponding weight uh, number of elephants and mice that uh, would make up that particular weight using the conversion values here. So thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.